Jeez, can we actually afford? We can just afford a few more agents. We have 35,000 bucks left. Ugh. But hey, um, Durathroat was something that we needed, I think, right? So that's cool. We'll get that queued up. Leads to a jumpsuit, heavy tactical suit, cyber armor, alien alloys. So Dura Thread uh, requires a standard lab. I think we've got that already, right? Dura Thread workshop and science lab. I don't know. Uh, heavy tactical suit, though. Promotion 3 and armored vest. But, I mean, armored vest, we're, we're working on that. That's the Xenonauts research. Which is going poorly. But should have scientists coming in in a few days. It'll be a little while. But we can put them on that then. And there they are. Nice. So that shouldn't be too much longer then. Can't wait to unlock the starting armor, right? Oh my god. XCOM dogs. Highly trained dags are fully capable of operating in battlefield conditions. Always obedient, they won't attack unless ordered to do so. Employed by a variety of factions. Nice. Get some dogs. Ooh, and the Xenolots thing finished up too. Dog combat gear can be purchased now. And the XCOM history Xenolots. <laughs> uh, turns out that Kiryukai and other similar initiatives were not the first attempts to deal with the alien threat. Uncovered a top secret project from the 70s labeled Xenonauts Defense Force, which is a joint NATO Warsaw Pact operation. Made objective was countered the means of thought control, but it also managed to complete a number of other scientific and training programs. Initiative was rather short lived, failed due to poor intelligence, limited budget, and a number of unfortunate decisions, not to mention the agents overindulging in the mind enhancement serum thus gaining them the informal term of Psychonauts. However, its unique role during the Cold War should not be underestimated, nor should its scientific achievements, like the Xenol Combat Shield. Mm. And Armored Vest. Everybody. Please. Please, Armored Vest. <sighs> XDF. Eh, it doesn't have the same ring to it. Ops would like to be a dog. Well, hold on. Let's see. Dog, ten thousand bucks, and the dog combat gear, eight thousand bucks. Let's let's get one good boy in. ZDF. Well, there you go. That kind of works. Four more people. We got King Skink. King Skink, the second. No, I think the first. Uh, Talum Grandmaster. Ove. And Samaran is back in the third. Nice. Alright. Get y'all into training. You guys are already in training. Yeah, okay. Alright. We're doing it. Always already- wait, always already in? Are you? Ah, over the second. Yeah. There's the dog combat gear. But no dog? 48 hours for Keisha. Ugh. Strange life form. Yeah, alright. North America helicopter. Wait a little bit first. We want to get there during the day. Take a look at that. Oh. Should probably equip the helicopter, huh? Dark Marth, Peter Pancake, blah blah, Shack Attack, Darkest Gunge in the second, and MH. Yellow Mini, you are on janitor duty. Don't let us down, it's a really important role, okay? Remember the Templar from XCOM 2? They were also on janitor duty. 
and then they just annihilated and then became axe. It's a very prestigious roll. You know what? Two hunting rifles, six clips. Shotguns for everybody, though, certainly. Um, extra buckshot. Just a bit of AP and a bit of stun. The flashbangs we bring in. A couple handcuffs. A couple flashlights. Electro flares. Like eight or so. Some med packs. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of HKMP5 going on. It's mostly just hunting rifle and shotgun, which is, I don't know, maybe okay? You alright with that? I don't think so. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, though. A mopping beard, yeah. Muffin beard, that's the one. The original. So, shotgun with buckshot first, take the flashlight off. Taser pistol, put on the belt. We'll give you a... give you a flashbang maybe? I don't know. A flashbang and electrical flare. So that'd be like the standard-ish loadout except the really accurate people. 65 and 60. that, and then you have too much, so drop the handcuffs. And okay. What do we got? Oh my god, it's a Bongorn. Alright. They look like stone golems a little bit. Do they die? Can we hurt them? Well, we hit it. I think we already got some of their corpses and stuff, though. We found some during, like, a, uh... Oh, whatever thing. One of those, like, freebie things that you can pick up. A land service, I think it was, right? Yeah, if it bleeds, we can kill it. The question is, how fast can it move? Their animation's a little bit janky looking. <laughs> they don't move terribly far, it seems. We can actually maybe do this. I mean, we need to stop wasting our reactions, but... We can do something with this. Nice. Blocked by a tree. What about this one? Yeah. Dang. Alright. Um. Yeah, kneeling. Wipe your time units, though, because I don't actually want you shooting at these things. There are a lot of them, though. Like, six? Seven. Oof. Alright. Uh, keep up with the rifle. We apparently no longer see them. Not really sure how. Oh, just missed. We'll move up a little bit to maybe encourage them to come melee a little bit more for us so we can actually use the shotguns. One of them just bled out, I think. Probably gonna need to get more ammo, though. Bang. 
Nice. Miss. But, oh man, if Dark Marth could hit anything, we could at least hunting rifle him once to bleed him out. You don't have an angle. You've got an angle. Wow. Look at you being like a proper sniper and stuff. I'm a bit jealous. A double barreled bolt action hunting rifle. Oof. Uh, sure, why not? I mean, let's do it. Let's research it. <laughs> it sounds like it'd have a lot of kickback to it. I, I presume you wouldn't have to shoot both barrels at the same time, though. I mean, if, if you were cool, you would, but... I didn't mean to end turn yet. We're gonna get a lot of wasted shots. Ugh, that's fine. One more turn. What are you doing up there? Come here. Yeah, a nice buckshot firing line. Okay, well, you're not buckshot. You need to reload, though. And you as well. Come on, come at us. We're ready for you. I only just got promotion, too. Man. I think the, um, that proper sniper rifle we unlocked that will be the first, like, promotion to weapon that I researched. Currently working on the better armor. Because, uh, keeping dudes alive, I think, could be the way to go. Looking forward to getting a proper sniper, though. That'll be, uh, that'll be nice. Oh my god, these things are such chicken shits. What are you doing up there? It's nice sniper practice, I suppose, but like... <laughs> Come on now. So he'll be bleeding out. There's another one still up in like that topmost corner, I think. But I think he's the last one. <clears throat> Would be terrible for your survivability to insist on being given nothing but armor and a machete. Um. <laughs> yeah, I I don't. I don't think you'd last long, but I've been surprised before. Like, Fly, way back when, had requested to be just, I want to fly with a magnetic iron armor, and I just want grenades. And that was it. And it actually worked really well. <laughs> like, super well, because they were always in a nice position to get a grenade hucked across the map. <laughs> so, considering how melee works in this mod pack, it might not be too terrible. Look, we're right here. Whoops. We're right here, guy. Come at us. We're ready for you. Yeah. Damn it. What was that third shot just then? Ugh. The plan generally worked, though. It worked. We'll just pretend I got him. None of them live, but that's okay. I don't think, uh... I don't know if we need them alive, actually. Probably. It seems like most research unlocks something if you get it live, which is kind of cool. Six Mongoan corpses. 
I'll keep one. Low on hunting rifle ammo and some bullshit ammo. Fine. It's cheap enough. And Dark Marth, grats on senior agent. And I forgot, uh... We had a few medals given out. I, I didn't catch who that was, though. Or what it was. Armored vest research is done. Look at this thing. Wow. Ceramic ballistic vest offers protection against projectiles and explosions. It even comes with a helmet, ladies and gentlemen. 28 front armor. 12 left, right, and under armor with 16 rear armor. Up from, uh... Oh, there's also armored vest with shield that gets plus 10 front armor. Nice. Um, up from... Kevlar vest is just 20 with 10s. Nice! Oh, hey, how you doing, Dawnborn? Welcome, welcome. Now purchase armored vest. How much are they though? That's the real question. Twelve thousand per. Oof. All right. I'll pick up four for now. We're we're almost through the month. Ah, okay. The dog's here. So who gets to be the dog? Combat gear. Yeah, just a little bit of. A little bit of armor. Unarmored, it's got five all around. It's pretty weak to choke, though. Fairly resistant against cutting. With the armor, it's less resistant to cutting with the armor. It still chokes just as good, though. But a little bit of protection against kinetic and concussive damage, with obviously just the armor being what it is. Pops, you wanted the dog? You can have the dog. That's That's fine. Do we already have a soldier for you, though? Or are you still waiting for... Okay. You can beat the dog. This is what, hops a second? Hops a second. You died just in time for it. Look at that sanity, 114 of it. Man! 10 bravery, though. 67 reactions. 83 melee accuracy? Man, this would be a good axe. Be a, be a damn fine axe. And we can put it in training. Awesome. Dogs are cool. He got like knifed in the back of the head straight away. Big bummer. I have scientists doing nothing. Oops. The taser cannon will put like a few more on. Advanced healing spray will leave that at just two. And then we wanted the... Oh, there's a weapon box to look at, I suppose. So much research. Oh my god. Uh, explosive license. I don't know, machine gun license, maybe we should also look into the Black Ops thing. The 308 caliber sniper rifle acquisition, though, is I think what we want, really. And yeah, you're a super quick one to do the licenses. Those take a little while. The contact as well. The sniper really not that long, actually. So we'll put just like two dudes on that and we can go for maybe Black Ops? Yeah, you know, Black Ops sniper rifle and stuff. I don't know. Could be alright. Kamikaze dogs? Well, like, strapping strapping grenades to dogs? What? <laughs> dogs should always carry primed high explosive for fun reasons. Isn't that what Russia did? A family was found- oh, that's a Chupacabra attacking minus 66 points. That's fine. That's whatever. We've had that before. Weapon box? Sturdy wooden chest used for safe storage of hand weapons. Head into contacting. We can now open said box. And also the ammo boxes as well. Sniper rifle acquisitions finished up. 80% timing is 120% accuracy. Ugh. 
It's less accurate than the hunting rifle, costing more time units. And it's weaker. But it does have a power bonus. Okay, it does tell you down here. Half of your bravery, plus 10% of your firing accuracy squared? Okay, and power bonus a quarter of your firing accuracy. Okay, so yeah, if we give it to somebody who's got like 60 firing accuracy, that'd be 20 power. Yeah, one one percent. Yeah, one percent squared. One percent of your firing accuracy squared. Bit, bit odd, but sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick some up until we get the black ops stuff at least. Um, because I'm, I'm pretty positive it's still an upgrade over the hunting rifle. You don't even have to be that great of a shot, and that's still an upgrade, I think. But it is quite expensive. Wow. We already have a bit of the ammo for it, though. Ooh. Ammo box is opened. PPSH clip and SKS clips. And the weapon box. Dangerous lunatic in Berlin. Oh god. Okay. Okay, look. We'll send the we'll send the helicopter. We're going in hot and heavy here. We're bringing the dog. We're bringing ASG. ASG, you're the captain. You're leading this thing. All right. Don't let me down. Don't make me regret this. Uh, Armored vest with shield? Sure, holy shit. We're gonna be going in like fucking swat. Like proper. Nice. Um, And just a leather coat? No, Kevlar vest. Look, you're used to dying. You can have the worst armor and then hops with the combat gear. Okay. We can bring in... Like, generally shotguns? With the baton shells. Was working... Not great? But it is what it is. The taser was working out quite well. Where's that at? Yeah, six of them with some clips. That's fine. That'll be good for the shield, boys. All right, let's go. To Berlin. <laughs> Our craft died without noticing. There's been a, there's been a good few deaths. I think the memorial has doubled since last stream. Holy shit. The Xeno Combat Shield does have a melee as well. Zero stun damage, it's 80% of your strength. That's cool. Just like, oh my god, one-handing a shotgun with a shield? ASG, you badass. No, you go, you're going in with tasers. Look how proper this looks, oh my god. And look, one of them was even trying to run up with the baton. If you're too weak for it, take off the med kit. And Samaran staying way back with a hunting rifle? A little bit dangerous. How about a stun shotgun? And the dog. We, we could strap on live incendiary grenades to the dog. It, the weight's a bit of an issue, but it is technically possible. Wait, these don't... What? We're allowed a couple of free grenades for some reason, I'm not really sure why. Targus Cerberus, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got dog bite and dog bark as its uh, as its things. All right, let's get this lunatic. Holy shit! There he is, cult of apocalypse, with a gun and knife. Hops. 
Do your thing. So what was the scanning device? Ah, okay. Uh, dog bark. 20 special. Modified by reactions. Causes foes to freeze in place. It wrecks their, uh, their time units, basically. Which was, yeah, snapshot. You gotta be pretty close for it. Kink skink, move in there. Right off the shield. Not the helicopter, you dick. Right off the shield. Man, just pushing right in there, huh? Look at us go. Go, Hobbs, go! Ruff, 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 ruff. Ruff, 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 ruff. But I think that's his timing that's like basically gone through reactions and everything. So we can just like crowd him pretty heavily. And we might be alright. That's ASG, you're very fancy. I hope nothing bad happens to you here. Watch as this guy's got like a grenade or something like that. Oh jeez, I'll be so sad. Hey, don't shoot the dog! What a piece. Who was that just then? Nah, you're okay, right off the armor. Ro 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 just spamming the bark at him. Huh? Well, that's not working as well. Oops. Sorry! <laughs> Sorry, Ove! <laughs> Fucking rookies. Jeez. There he goes. We got him. We got him in the end. <laughs> we saved 15 civilians. That's a lot of points. <laughs> just accidentally tased Ove. <laughs> oh man. Nice bravery. A lot of sanity for Hops as well. 500 point to redo is, yeah, huge, huge points. Very nice. And Cavalier, because everybody was safe, civilians and XCOM alike. Congrats to all of you. Oh, that, that one's significantly better. Dissect him alive? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, we will. Makarov? <clears throat> 9 millimeter SMGs and a Sten. Sure. We're so broke. There's the rifle. Bring on a bit of ammo for it. So we put that on a most accurate person. And it'll do some bonus damage. The taser cannons research. What the fuck? What is this thing? What? Okay. One aim shot, 90% accuracy, 40% timing. Now so we can get a couple of them. 65 electric damage. Uh, um. Result of our ambition to create a prototype energy weapon based on existing technologies. Consists of a massive heavy-duty battery and a transmitter that fires an electric arc that hits a target at medium ranges. Due to high power consumption and limited battery capacity, only two shots can be made, despite the significant weight of the device. However, if the arc reaches a target, it is highly likely to stun it, which definitely justifies the means. Alright. Taser cannon clip weighs 22. Oh my god. All right. That's that's a that's a heavy heavy thing. It's 16 weight for the cannon itself. Wow. This thing is mostly battery. I mount that on the dog. There you go. Hey, hey hops. <laughs> uh black ops, pound that out. Get that finished up. Requires the workshop to produce that. Right. Uh, the workshop, I think we still had to research. Which we can definitely do. 
take a few of you off because it's going excellently. Put a couple more on the healing spray. Get like one on the workshop. Cult outpost detected out there on the uh, out by Japan, I think. You know what? Same same group. Why not? Get at it. It's just an outpost. It's not like a, a main base type thing. And we will be there during the day. Very nice. Hey, Black Ops Industries contact. A top secret manufacturer of cutting edge military equipment. Supply much of the weapons and devices used by major secret government agencies all over the world. Merchandise is expensive, but above any competition in terms of quality. Their product range expands as our authority increases. And there's a whole bunch of stuff, including contacting the UAC, which sounds like a bad idea, but we'll probably end up doing it at some point. I'm most interested in shotgun and sniper. Maybe pistol. I mean, how, how complicated are these? Oh, like, not at all. Just do them all, then. And Black Ops Premium? A little harder, but... That unlocks some fancier stuff. So sure. Put like one on each. It should be done in a couple days then. Ove, head into the stir before you lose all motivation. Hey, thanks for stopping in, man. Have a good one. I'll see you Sunday unless I die. <gasps> I could just use the scroll wheel to. Oh, kind of. I didn't know you could do that. And I'd like control. Yeah, control scroll wheel just to assign just like a few dudes. Nice. Uh, I guess just everybody work on the healing spray. We'll do like one person per for those and four on the premium. Showed me in Discord a while back. Oh, jeez, I wouldn't have remembered. Let's go in. Probably not with the tasers, though. We'll likely be going in with, uh... Stuff to kill. At least with you guys. And ASG, like, our most accurate person with that vest and shield. Uh, you would have been a good sniper. I need to keep that in mind for later. But Samurai will be us, our sniper, I suppose. See how it goes. And the med pack off if you can't carry it. We can get a flashbang on and a healing spray on a couple of you guys. Maybe just a standard med bag on some too. Alright. Alt to show damage values? I just middle mouse button. Oof. Uh fancy black lotus guy. Club throwing knives, club throwing knives, stun baton, stun baton, snub nose knife. A ninja with a Short sword and throwing knives. All right. Well, we can, uh, presumably,
Open fire. Ow! Open fire a little bit. Didn't hurt. Alright. Yeah, right. At least I'm in a corner for once. Like a normal starting area. Jesus, you just shot out a tree. Okay, guys, the trees aren't the enemies. They're really super not the enemies. Maybe? I don't know. Nice. Alright. And hops. Uh... For now I think just hang tight. What about Factorio? Oh, for clearing trees. Trees are the true enemy in Factorio. Yeah, they get a bit everywhere. You know, for a second I thought he threw a grenade. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, it is coffee time, isn't it? I still have my old coffee. Been a pretty low coffee day for me personally, what with the uh, blood pressure and all that. Hey, who's that? That looked fancy. I want one of them alive. Alright. Feeling? Ah. Oh. Feeling pretty okay about this so far. This new armor? It helps a lot. Who'd have thought? Bang, right? Right in the dick. <laughs> nice. Alright. I'm a little afraid to send hops out there quite yet. Solo's coming up with the term spaghetti? Uh, maybe. It could have also been rogue, I'm not really sure. Just running around, they look really confused. Yeah, who's this person? They look like some sort of, like, a tourist. Or just like some super 80s lady who just finished her workout. Slow projectile speed? Uh, yeah, because it's really disorienting for people otherwise if the bolts are whizzing by. Alright, she seems... buff as hell. Uh, she seems fancy though, maybe we keep her alive. Bang. Uh. <laughs> Alright, let's keep marching up a little bit. Maybe a couple of you facing up here for the for the ninjas. Rip tree. Keep you guys marching off to the right. Been a little while since we had a Wilhelm scream, yeah. We did have one before, though. A couple missions. I think during the Mad Mad mission, there was a Wilhelm after a shotgun blast.
Would like to kill a few more and see if I can get them just to surrender. That'd be great. All right, three ninjas right there. They're just begging for it. They're all grouped up too. Did I bring that grenade? Forget which base has a grenade. In the butt. And you're ready for a reload. Can't really see a whole lot. Right side, there is a guy with a stun baton. Should be a pretty easy target if we can take him out quick. That'll be uh, one more death for them to have to panic over. Might not be so easy though. 43% snapshot's pretty okay. Ah, oh, come on. So close. Gonna actually, <clears throat> I'm gonna have you go for stun baton guy. Go, hops, go. Oh, yeah, hops could have a field day with all them. Ooh, nice shot. Ninjas don't know what the hell to do, they're so confused. Where is the enemy? Where is it? The trees are just exploding left, right, and center. We're camouflaged with the grass, you understand. Go get him. Go get him. That one's actually got a gun. That's not fair. Okay, stop shooting the trees, guys. It was funny for a bit. Ammo's actually a concern here. We'll get you, like, around a ways, I think. Yeah, try again. 63 is pretty nice. There's the Wilhelm. Well, sniper rifle's working uh, pretty okay, too. This reminded me you'd love... I'd love what happens... to dogs deployed to underwater missions. It, it sounds like it would just die. <laughs> does, does it just die? It just starts and it's like, well, hops drowned. Oh, okay. Hmm. Whoops. Right in the ass. How you doing? You about to surrender? You should. You know what's good for you. I think the rest of us can maybe advance with stun. See how that goes. She did not skip like day, no. Not at all. Yeah. Pretty okay try. Position you here. Don't react though. Because I want I want leg day alive. And hops, you gotta use your lightning fast and tackle at speed to outrun this dude's bullet to name. He's going apeshit anyway. Shooting in your general direction, annoyingly. Oof. He just, he really hates dogs. He's had a bad experience when he was growing up. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, wait a minute. 
Would you just throw it? Would you throw it hops? Hey, don't set the dog on fire! What the fuck? <laughs> they threw an incendiary grenade at the dog. <laughs> hey. All right. Well, their morale ain't doing so great. As she march up on this one. Uh, there's a lot of them still. Woofed. Uh, and most of them ranged. All right. Well, march up toward this one. You got to reload still? No. Uh, I mean, we could take one of their weapons, maybe, but. Uh, maybe next turn. And we'll pick up some more ammo with you. We'll get you wrapped around the side. To work on the forest of assholes up there, setting the dog on fire. Destroy some more trees, because we got nothing better to do, apparently. There you go. A fine hit. Sinister laughter while going berserk. Okay, man, whatever you say. Remember a game, Mega Traveler 2, where if you... Where if you didn't remember to put on a vacuum suit on any of your party members and then left a starport on a planet without breathable atmosphere, then instead, no warning. Oof, old school. Yeah, that's like... That's 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 classic 90s stuff, really. It's just like, oh no, you're you're dead. You fucked up. Rip doggo. Unbelievable. Yeah, no line of fire on any of them. Nor on him. We got to get you. Oof. That that actually hurt. Whatever the hell that is, that hurts. Um, you needed more gun. Jeez, look at them all. Leading out melee weapon, throwing knives, throwing knives. Pistol. And somebody else up there with, I think, a pistol. And guy with throwing knives. Alright. Uh, ASG, I hope you're okay against her. You're sort of my highest ranking. I, I didn't expect her to really get through the shield so easily. She kind of just, like, breezed right through it. <laughs> um, and none of these guys we have a shot on? Ah, that one we do. Whoosh! Was right by one of my soldiers. Wow, never do that again. Great shot, but never do that again. Everyone's just panicking and running off. Drop this stuff. Footman going berserk with a shotgun. Footman panicking with a scientist scream. I love it. They chose some really great sound effects for these. <laughs> Uh, I th think I'd have to stand like here. Got her. A witch with a strange artifact and a knife. Good job, ASG. You also need ammo. Uh, let's. Drop the cuffs, holster that quick. Pick up another one. Throw it on over. Good enough. 
and then bring that back out. Not the best chance, but he's armed, so it's worth trying. The rest I'm not so sure. <clears throat> the shield does have a bash, yeah, based on your strength that does additional damage. I think it was like 80% of your strength. Something like that. Which is pretty fucking cool, really. You scoop back up some throwing knives, I think. No, the stun baton. Right. A true terror, the stun baton. And that's you. Whoops. Ahem. Yeah. You see nobody. We need to get you positioned. So where you can actually see things. Reload and uh, maybe move up a little bit. I would like to think throwing knives don't really do a whole lot against this armor. I don't know if that's a wise thought or not. Throwing knives are like tier zero, man. Hey, Samaran, thanks for stopping in, man. Have a good one. I'll try not to kill you again, but uh, no promises. <laughs> I'll do what I can. What a flank. Throwing knife in the side. From where? Wait, who? Hello? I don't know where that came from. Alrighty, though. Oh, Samran, you can't be missing those shots. So, ASG, maybe you're not okay to move up like this. Maybe this is a horrible idea. What do you got? Pump action shotgun. You feel like one handing a pump action shotgun? I'd like to see you try. King Skink is there. Where is this guy? What? How do we not see him? They're literally like right, right fucking here. There's nobody here. He's still bleeding out. You're still bleeding out. Man, maybe the trees are the enemy here. I think the trees are picking me off. Yeah, you only had like two health left. It's literally a tree.
Lex, fucking excuse me. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> It's an actual ninja. What a tryhard. Uh, that had a two-hand penalty, right? Yeah, seventy-five percent. Fifty percent on that. So it's not the hugest penalty with this. We can go for it, I think. And you need more ammo, which we do have. And I'm pretty sure you're dead. Yep. Annihilated. Let's... Yeah, that doesn't quite holster. So I guess drop that. Throw a clip over. Oh right, it's a pro it's not hunting rifle anymore. It's uh I don't think we have any more. I think that was it. Alrighty then. Just one handing a hunting rifle and shield right now. Good enough. And we don't have any pills either for you. Hmm. Still just bleeding out. I'd like to think if I kill just a few more, it'll be over. It is tempting just to take the witch's body and just run. There's an absolute temptation there. It's all like quiet and stuff now. Where'd they all go? Shit, she got back up. How's your melee? 59? Gonna have to punch her down, I think. Rorax plays with a rate of 13. Hello, welcome. What brings you in? Also, Mischief of Mice. Oh, it's one of these, is it? Mischief of Mice with 20 as well. Welcome, welcome. A double raid. Welcome to the last... The last little hinge of this mission. I can't tell if we're winning or not. We got two dudes left. One of them's bleeding out. I don't have medical supplies for him. There's an actual literal ninja somewhere around here who seems to just dress up as trees and throw knives and one-shot me. Somewhere over there, there's this lady that just woke up. I'd like to restun her. I'm gonna have to try to punch her down. I wanna, like, kidnap her and bring her back. I'd also like to quite, quite like to full clear this, but I'm not sure if we can. It's, uh, we're hanging in there. What were you, what were you guys playing? Like, how you doing today? Maybe we get ASG up here too. Maybe you can do like a shield bash or something like that. Maybe she can't bring us both down. 
Because I think she could just pick up her stuff again. It's right there. Yeah, she did. But she's... Ow! Not doing a whole lot with it. Well, welcome back. And what's your melee accuracy right now? 56! She's just really dodgy, I guess. Must. Shield bash. Ugh. Really? How do you miss a shield bash like that? Oh. Cryofall? What's cryofall? Not enough energy. Look, man. Drop the gun. Punch her, then. We can't hit her. Stay there a minute. You're coming with us. <laughs> no, stop it. Days fades. Yeah, yeah. How is it so hard to punch somebody in this? What? What's happening? She's too quick. She's too dodgy. We're, I mean, we're cutting her like sort of. Yeah, there she is. To evac, which I guess works out. I literally can't hit her. A low impact game like RimWorld, single pawn in a way, but you are encouraged to play in a group as you kind of have to specialize a bit. There's PvE and PvP. Oh, okay. Uh, stun gun? Yeah, I, I guess I have to. Samran, run back for a stun gun. 56 melee accuracy, my butt. That ain't working. She's way over there now. Taser. Two of them, just in case. Call me it. I hope she's worth it. She's got a lot of movement. That's for sure. Ah! Right in the throat. Alright. Let's, uh... Grab some throwing knives. Cover my way back, would you? Is this like the equivalent of an early game deep one? Like she's that important to have? I want this also. I'm taking them both. She's coming with us! You take any steps closer, we'll kill her, I swear! <sighs> just run, Samurai, just run! <laughs> Uh, was this the proper sniper? You know what, I don't really care. We can buy another one next month, it's fine. Yeah, that is, though. Uh, I guess. We'll bring it with. I'll do it! I'll kill her! Man, we very nearly won this, though. Like, really, really nearly. We only just lost. I think we have maybe too many shield guys, the magnum just wasn't enough. <sighs> yeah, that ninja ripped me to shreds, man. Is that just something that- was that just like a weird line of sight thing? Or is there like some special thing that ninjas have specifically that's like camouflage or something? It's like... I was right there. It's just a special thing they've got. What do you do against it? You just have to survive? They're special and can't easily be seen, because I see them just all the time around. Ugh. You just have to blindly throw a grenade? Camouflage that, the tracks from your line of sight. I see them from so far away. Like, I sniped a few of them. 
A bit of accuracy for ASG and Samurai. So that's nice. We got a flame glove, apparently, and a black lotus witch. All right. Karate healing spray and rifles. Yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, ASG is a correctional officer. Oh my god. Every law enforcement's job is to bring the enemies of society to justice. Generally requires them to be alive and in captivity. Any agent who achieves this on a daily basis will earn the respect from allies and enemies alike. Plus one size skill. Alright. Sure, and sniper. Buying accuracy and reactions by one. Alright. Uh, good stuff. And King Skink, tell him Grand, Mans Grand Master Ove the second and Hops the second. Poor Hops. Our dog. We sent the dog out. You know what they do? You know what they do against our dog? They throw an incendiary grenade. They set my dog on fire. She panicked and burnt to death. Unbelievable. I don't have enough money for another soldier, like, at all. We have to wait this month out. We got 1700 bucks to our name. Uh, Black Ops sniper rifle acquisition's done, though. Yeah, that's looking a little bit proper. 30 kinetic damage with the uh, with the whatevers. Firing accuracy, uh, a percent of it squared. Sure. And the power bonus is just a quarter of your firing accuracy. Bravery doesn't matter, apparently. Not with this one. All right. Legit. Those are all excellent. Should be done probably tonight. Now purchase them. Black Ops SMG acquisition. Six round auto fire, 50% accuracy, 40 time unit cost. Compared to that Minbea that I had way back when, 40 40. 50 40. Snapshot 65 30. Yeah, so it's more accurate. And a little bit more damage, five more damage. And for the moment, that's it. Maybe I can buy them now? I I don't know. Black Ops Sniper is 28,000. SMG is 7,000. Yeah, no. Not at all. Shotgun acquisition. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 145% aim shot? Wow. 155% aim shot on the standard shotgun. Dang. Takes a little bit longer to use. Uh, firing speed is drastically improved with only minor accuracy losses. Oh yeah, okay, it is slightly improved. Yeah, you're right about that. Eh. Less hyped, yeah, all the other ones finished up, that's good. The rifle. Look at that! It's, uh, the rifle. Highly accurate all-purpose rifle, laser-guided sights, and takes 6.7mm ammunition in a 20-round clip. Nice. It, it's our rifle. It's it's our first rifle. Snapshot, aim shot, auto shot. Standard, 30 damage. Awesome. Also the assault LMG. Five round auto fire, 45 timing to cost, 35 kinetic damage, 35% accuracy though. That's pretty horribly inaccurate. And the pistol. 80% snapshot, 88% aim shot. The TU cost being very small though, 30 kinetic damage still. So that's quite nice for the shield guys, I think. Mac 10 is better, but you actually have to find one? Hmm. Yeah, haven't found haven't found that yet. Come on, month end. Ah. <sighs> 1,269 rating? Wow. Okay, everybody's happy with me. They're thrilled. Nice. Half a million bucks I've gotten out. So, let's purchase some Black Ops pistols. We'll get like... Well, what was the Black Ops SMG's two-hand penalty? Oh, you're not two-handed at all. Oh. Well then. Yeah, 
226 pistols in that case. Hmm. Uh, well, I'll just pick up, like, six of these with a bunch of ammo. Black Ops rifles for general use. Bunch of ammo. The Black Ops sniper rifle. A few of those with a bunch of ammo. The shotgun I'm less hyped about, but I'll pick up a couple of them. It uses the same ammo type, so that's not so bad. The assault LMG I don't think I use. There's also the smoke grenades that we can pick up, the incendiary grenades we can buy a few of. And that's about it. And that's also like half of our money. Oh yeah, people. Two people and a dog. Anything to sell? Uh, at some point when I get the workshop, there's some stuff that we can actually like manufacture and maybe make a bit of money selling. But currently, just like the random weapon or two that you find laying around from the people, but it really doesn't sell very well at all. Like, it adds up to maybe being like 10,000. Maybe. Not great. The best stuff that you get to sell is just like lots of cash and briefcases of money in some of the outposts. Strange life form. Hey, we'll take a look. Actually, God, will we take a look? I don't even know. Anybody left? Templar Warden II, Theoretical Theory, and uh, Samarin the Third. Fine. Uh, who is the most accurate? Ah, uh, another couple sneezes. Ugh. So you just get the armored vest then. No shield. Okay. And he can be the sniper. Let's go! <laughs> A strange life form of three people. Ah. Hey, Black Ops Premium. As our influence grows, Black Ops offer to put us on their premium customer list. It will give us access to a wide range of their cutting-edge experimental equipment as long as we approach them with specific requests. And that leads to some other weird things. Um, no idea what the cause is. Spy pistol? Auto sniper assault rifle? Are these also like really quick to do? Yeah, generally. So we'll do we'll do all of them. Just put like two people on or so. And then what? We uh, we research the witch then. Witch combat analysis, Black Lotus operations, meta psychology prerequisite. Mm. Put a person on that, and then like one on the follower. Mm. Go for it. And there's all that. Okay. Cause is stupid powerful. It's God. It's a shotgun. Know that from Jagged Alliance. Alright. Check it out. Uh, sniper rifle is going on... Uh... Templar Warden. <clears throat> Excuse me, Templar Warden. And then you guys did the shotgun with the shotgun baton. Uh, how about AP shells? We'll go to kill. Whatever it may or may not be. It's Mega Scorpions. Is it a thousand Mega Scorpions? It might be. It very well may be. We'll find out. What? Okay, that missed. It's always scorpions. Man, I wish it wasn't. Thank you very much for the sub score. Four months as well. Much appreciated. 
What? No, don't. Well, there, that was our chance to, to leave. Uh, well, let's see if it one-shots us. We might be okay. A prototype magazine-fed shotgun that never went into serial production by H and K. Okay. Ow! The thing hurts like hell. Dang! That's insane that they just survived that. It's a armor-piercing slug from our shotgun. It just soaks it. I'll kill what I can, but I don't think we're going to get a full clear on this. Yeah, Buckshot's probably the way to go with the, uh, with the melee guys. I just figured I'd be able to pick them off from afar, you know? Holy fuck, holy. Well, let's just go. That's fine. 15 points. Sufficient. I'll take it. 10 bravery for Samaran. And 3 accuracy for theoretical theory. I mean, that, that's still better than nothing. And Templar Warden the second is now elite. Brats. The Black Ops Assault Rifle. Four round auto fire, 40% TU, 55 accuracy. Not terrible. Compared to just the standard rifle. Ah. Yeah, a little more TU cost, but more accuracy, and you get an extra shot. The aim shot is a lot worse, though, but faster. Yeah, all right. Let's do... You know what? Let's get the explosives license. That'd take a little while, right? Pound that out. The auto sniper. Yeah, three round auto fire, but 35% accuracy. Like, you can auto fire it if you want. Gets an accuracy boost from reactions, which is quite cool. The spy pistol. It's a pistol. Small but relatively accurate, meant for undercover operations. It is concealable. And the cause. 120% snapshot, 140% aim shot. TU cost is quite low. Kinetic 40 or kinetic 18 times 5. Yeah, that's pretty okay. One hand penalty 65%. The auto sniper doesn't seem nice. The auto sniper seems kind of garbage. Not sure on that. Not sure on that. This thing seems quite okay, though. Like, that ain't bad at all. Snapshot, 120% snapshot. I could do four of these without moving. Damn. All right, um, we will we'll pick up some of those. Maybe some assault rifles too. Try them out. Probably get some spy pistols while we're at it too. I'm not sure what the undercover missions are all about, but uh, when we get to that point, it'll be nice to have those on hand. Just a few assault rifles. I think the standard rifle will be just fine for its aim shot. And then the cause. I think probably largely buckshot with this. I 
auto sniper is a bit bad compared to the regular sniper unless you are a firing accuracy and reactions god. Well, yeah, it is true that the, the reactions boost that you get is kind of neat for it, I suppose, but eh. Eh. Advanced healing spray. I'm assuming has more uses, but it's like a two slot thing. Resulting product is bigger, but more efficient, concealable. Three heal uses, heals one at a time. And you can still use it on yourself. Okay, so that's, that's what we're after. That's good. Whoops. Purchase. Advanced healing sp Oof, those are expensive. Ooh, never mind. Those can sit for a minute. We got more people, though, I think, right? Yeah, three more. And a dog. Saint, you're in. Our craft, the second. Proof for Alga. You're in. 141 sanity. Jesus. And we didn't buy any more dog armor for you. How much was the dog armor? 8,000? Alright, we'll pick up a couple actually. Okay. Basically out of money again, and we're only a week into it. Strange life form again. We can equip up the helicopter with a few more people. And some better gear. For now we have... Don't think we need the magnums anymore, right? Or the HKMP5, I think we're past all that. The hunting rifle as well. The Black Ops Sniper Rifle, bring two of those along with, with plenty of ammo. Couple of the Cause with the uh, Buckshot. Oh, maybe like three and six. Bring some of that just to have it. The standard Black Ops Rifle. That arrive? Yes. Assault Rifles and Standard Rifles. Plenty of them with plenty of ammo. And the Black Ops SMG, a few of those as well. Armor-wise, I don't have a whole lot anymore. But... Sort by accuracy. Theoretical theory would be the sniper. So you can have just a... Honestly, just like maybe a leather coat or something like that. I don't know. Uh, sort by strength. All of us are weak as heck. So standard armored vest. And a couple Kevlars. Let's do it. Electric club, incendiary grenade, and handcuffs. So what do you plan on doing exactly? The assault rifle, the shotgun. You are the sniper. Put on plenty of ammo. You can have, I guess, the shotgun? Jeez, you're, like, really weak. Um, you can have the shotgun. You're pretty burly. With the... Yeah, buckshot. So, shotgun, sniper, and a couple just, like, rifle-y dudes.
This music is so sinister right now. Oh my god. Can dogs unequip their guns? Nah. Unfortunately not. <laughs> ah! Mongorns again. Alright, well. Let's try out the shotgun. With the red? Yeah, this is this is buckshot. Alright. A little more sluggy than I uh, thought it would be. Fancy, it's even got like a bullet casing hitting the ground sound effect to it. Alright, that's... that's us. Are we staying? I guess we could. This guy's still pretty far away. We handled these before, they're not too terrible to take down. No yetis yet. This is the closest thing we've come to fighting a yeti, I think. Well, no, we got the shamblers. Those are pretty close to yetis. Basically a yeti. Mmm, snapshot. Back it up. We'll have crew for Alga come around. Maybe you can do like a barking react type thing because it's 75 reactions is really high. 18 time units is enough to do two barks to reduce its time units if it closes in too close. Theoretical theory can continue sniping. Nice. All right. So just the two more down there that that we see anyway. Nice. Gurg, arg. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh my god, you did it. Well done. Holy shit. <laughs> You're such a better dog than Hops was. <laughs> 41%, 77%, yeah, go for the aim shot. And then back it up. Well, how, he didn't suddenly burst into fire and die, okay? He's better. He killed a thing. Your, your dog form is just... Just ashes. This one's gonna get scary close. Maybe not. It seems really confused. And right in the dick, like that is a class A dick shot. Pops tried her best. Oof, I take that as an insult because it wasn't very good. If you're inferring that that's the very best she can do. I think she can aspire to be better than that. Maybe, maybe the next dog she gets. <laughs> uh, yeah, generally just stuff for people. That's quite good. Black op sniper, or how to castrate someone from across the map. Yeah, those dick shots are really, uh, oof. Really going for it. I think we can sell them all, actually. Pretty sure we don't need any. Man, no awards or anything? Oh. Not the first yet. Can cancel that Patreon pledge. <laughs> it's true. Gone with the fish. Modest 125 points. Population of an entire fishing village in Europe went missing, leaving no clue as to their fate. 
except a church of Dagon iconography written in blood all over the place. The council sent us this report as something that doesn't need any further comments. Oh shit, that don't sound good. Alright though. Explosives license is finally done. Even though we're not a military organization, wink wink, somehow I managed to convince the UN to let us use explosives. When in doubt, get some dynamite. Don't look at me like that. I couldn't secure the rights to use C4. Grenade, dynamite, anti-personnel mines. And also grenade launch acquisition. Grenade launch acquisition. Grenade launcher acquisition. Yeah. Sure. Is it a quick one? Yeah, pretty quick. So let's get some more on the witch. Get some more on the follower. Get a little bit on the workshop. I'm assuming we can buy grenades now. I actually kind of skipped through it, yeah, a little bit. 50 concussive damage, 81 concussive damage on the dynamite. While hardly modern, dynamite can still be a very dangerous weapon in the hands of a desperate combatant. Can it still be primed to zero? <clears throat> Five blast radius? Same as a grenade. The grenade has no weight to it, though. The dynamite weighs six. Other than that, looks to be basically the same. Uh, we'll go, we'll go grenades though. That, that's fine. Black Lotus follower is done. Enforcer with Black Lotus, Reniel was one of the top guns of the AFP. One day he found his family dead at their house and the only clue he had was an AFP cap. Out of anger, he wiped out the military installation where he once served. He's now in league with the Black Lotus. Okay. That seems like one of those fan-made Rimworld backstories. It's just like, oh, I'm such a troubled individual and I kill people with guns and stuff. Or plus two shooting. What if your Hollerbot's got art on sarcophagus and Rimworld? Nice. <sighs> I'd, I'd, I'd make Roomba art. That sounds great. Wait a minute, did I see minigun? Black Ops minigun acquisition? Well, hold the fuck on. Get a few people working on that. Minigun. It's probably super terrible. Uh, there's the grenades. So, equipped onto the helicopter. A bunch of grenades. Just a bunch. The private car as well. Have some grenades. You generally need to have your stuff sorted out, actually. We'll sort it later. Uh, North America, you also need some grenades. You exist. I need to not forget about you. You also need, like, the Black Ops weapons and stuff. The Black Ops Standard Sniper Rifle, a couple of those. Not enough money. Oh shit. Okay. North America doesn't get cool weapons. Not even grenades. Grenade launch acquisition though. Alright. Can fire off quite a few snapshots, that's nice. M79 Grenade Launcher has a variety of different munition types at its disposal, contributing to its effectiveness in a wide range of situations. Keep it smaller size compared to a handheld flashbang grenade, the efficiency relative to it is 10% less. But hey! It's still a grenade launcher. Nice. How much is it? Can I buy, like, one just to try it? Five thousand? Oh, that's cheap as heck. Black Lotus Witch. 
So-called witches are high-ranking Black Lotus members who are both local commanders and the cult's representatives in high society. They also possess unique mental abilities allowing them to operate special devices that are built according to plans given to the cult by their goddess, as well as to maintain a telekinetic shield to protect them from small arms fire. Both well informed about the cult and responsible for many of its crimes and therefore should be a primary target for apprehension. Nice. Black Lotus Rationale for a religious cult, the agenda of the Black Lotus is surprisingly pragmatic, at least for the members who haven't been continuously exposed to the will of their goddess. Humanity stands alone against a numerous host, still an awesome word if you ask me, of enemies, uh, many of which neither we nor the Black Lotus can fully comprehend or attempt to fight without outside help. The Golden Lady represents such an opportunity. While she seems to regard her followers more as toys or playthings, she did supply several means of organizing a more effective response to anyone who would truly wish to harm humanity in the form of psionic training, interpreted and modified to fit for Eastern meditation and combat traditions. For anyone not psionically dominated by their goddess, she seems to be the lesser of the two, or even more evils. Fine. And Black Lotus operations? Uh, sure. Or should we, like, pound out some of this more basic stuff? Because, like... We got a bunch of corpses and stuff going on. Or contact UAC Dragonfly. Sky Raider gunship auto, auto cannon. Jesus, I don't fucking know. Rocket launcher heavy nail gun. Unlocks advanced firearms prerequisite. Advanced firearms. Need to contact the Magma Corporation, though. Which requires a Thrasher Heavy Shotgun, Light Cannon, Heavy Cannon, Auto Cannon. Alright. Uh, general strategy thing doesn't seem to do anything. <clears throat> Where is what we just unlocked how to do? Golden Dragons, Osprey, Black Lotus HQ, Arasaka 3000 Acquisition, QBU88 Acquisition, and unlocks the Colt Arms Dealers. Yeah, Alright. Uh, sure. Look into it. Hey, how you doing, Maker? Enjoying the sudden influx of free time. Ugh. Zombie infestation. I guess North America could take a look at it, but I don't think we're doing that. Black Lotus Operations is done. Infiltrating a network of East Asian shady businesses was not easy. But it was certainly exciting. Anyway, now we have access to some of their trusted sources, mostly computer servers and such, and we can get some idea on where their masters may live. Data analysis isn't perfect, but we have a chance of locating a high-ranking Black Lotus member whenever they receive an email or pay for groceries from an account we know of. I've consulted our hacker team, I mean myself, and we're good to go. Don't bother with Black Lotus safe houses. Such tasks will be delegated to council salvagers instead. All right. Nice. And contact cold arms dealers. Sure. I guess we'll also get contact UAC on the docket too. Prop circles? Oh. Uh. Maybe afterwards? Shotguns and hunting rifles. Yeah, sure. However, changing the track. And okay. I will pick on one of them. Really just wasting a lot of our ammo. 
Um, but we're not actually going to be doing the infestation. But we can check out the crop circles and maybe actually do that. In fact, return to base, because I think there's more people we can put onto this. No? Okay. Well, we can take Dark Marth off and put Yellow Meanie on. That we can do. Shotguns with buckshot, couple hunting rifles still. Fine. Are we fighting men in black, though? Oops. That's the question. Jesus Christ. Uh, well, it's poor farmer dudes, and blah blah is just a homicidal maniac killing them. Oh, no, Darkest Gungeon is being a homicidal maniac killing them all. Goodness gracious. Okay. Baton shells. Everybody else, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Don't kill them. I guess he bled out or something like that. Okay, we got one live. We killed one of them. Minus 90. It's overall a bit negative. We got some more fuel traces. Good job with the reactions. Yellow meaty darkest gunshot. Ugh. Poor dude. It just like rummaged around his house. It's blam with buckshot from across the world. Took him out. Damn. All right. Workshop's done, finally. $800,000, 32 days. Ugh. Manufacturer equipment based on designs from Science Labs. Up to 50 engineers per workshop, although items under construction will also consume some space. Pretty standard. Bio Exosuit, Biological Warfare, the Electric Prod, or the Airborne Mud Ranger. I don't know. The Bio Exosuit sounds like something that's, like, better safe than sorry to get. Gonna be a little while to get, like, proper armor, but... Maybe? Yeah, yeah, aquaplastics, absolutely. There's everything in this thing. This is, this is a mega mod. Big time. It was 800,000, right? 800,000? Not, like, 800? Damn it. Right, maybe next month. Colt's activity. What do you got? Safe house? Church of Dagon? Ah, oh, jeez. Alright. Uh, let's go for it. And what I didn't get is more proper armor. I need to get more armored vests. Can we order those quick? Will they be here in time? Can we afford them? We can't afford them. Will they be here in time, though? 24 hours? Yeah, they will. Nice. Uh, combat gear, yo. Yeah. We'll go armored vests for everybody, except maybe, like, our strongest dude. Which isn't saying much. Okay, so just the non-shield then, I think. We'll just keep it kind of standard. And we got the grenade launcher on there and everything. SMG, assault rifles, etc., etc. Oh, and grenades. Absolutely. Meet the informant? Shady Tavern. Supposed to meet a contact in a road bar in this location. Go there, start the individual, and bring him to our base. Only concealable items and civilian clothing allowed. Hmm. Leather coat, suit, and unarmored dog. Alright.
Well, let's equip. I don't even know if we can arrive there with the helicopter. Sealable, at least. Um, we'll wait until day, though. And you were ready like a while ago. We're gonna have to wait until day, though. Strange life form. We're gonna. Probably ignore that, but we could drive a car out there, I suppose. Anybody feel like doing that? Quick little road trip with Valkyrie and Wex? Sure. Couple clubs, couple taser pistols with clips. Uh. Give the HKMP5 off. The hunting rifles off. Couple Black Ops rifles. Maybe a sniper rifle. Eh. Nothing too fancy, but it works. Okay, a lot of stuff going on. Shady Tavern, let's do it. Something went wrong with the meeting. Our contact is nowhere in sight and the locals look agitated. If we show up now, they're likely to recognize us and put up resistance. If we venture there, we can still salvage the situation by taking a few prisoners to interrogate. All right. Hey, I don't want Luca Zed. Happy weekend. Interrogating locals. Do I have enough ammo for this even? I guess we don't really need that, so we could just like... <laughs> I don't know, maybe? Look how concealed this is, man. Jeez. Ooh. Uh, that's a big looking gun. Rip Peter Pancake. Literally nothing you can do. Rip MH. Literally nothing you can do. Rip Yellow Mini. Literally nothing you can do. Please, for the love of Christ, don't start them with full time units. Just don't. All right, two men made it. Let's go. This mission is garbage. There's so many of them. Like, I guess we're supposed to just take like one of them hostage or something and that's it, that's all. Like just get in there and get out, not actually full clear it. Holy moly. I can I couldn't bring pistols. They don't have them here. Holy shit, how do you miss those shots? Presses death repeatedly. What is this? Maker of Moons, thank you very much. What? What?
Well, that's a garbage fucking mission. All right, moving on. <clears throat> Good luck, North America. I don't have money to refund you at all. Strange life form. Take a look and see what it is. Probably not do it, though. But we will bring a... Sniper rifle with you. And wax. I'll try just the standard rifle. And we do have nighttime. So also have a flashlight. Seems clear. What are we fighting here? What is that? What is it? Are they rad roaches? Yeah, giant beetles. Uh. Oh, maybe? Yeah, they don't get one shot, of course. Why should they? Alright, so we'll go then. That's so aggravating how just like nothing dies. Womp. And cult safe house at night, I'd really like to not, but I've already let this sit for a little while, so I feel like it's gonna vanish in the morning. Still okay, actually. Alright. So we had... 68 firing. You'll work okay as a sniper. And then just rifles with the others. A standard shotgun? Disgusting, KPO. What are you thinking? You've got the fancy shotgun. You can also have a fancy shotgun. Why not? Actually, I know why not. Because I want to try out the grenade launcher. What are you loaded with? Flash? Ugh. Who wants flash? Get high explosive in there. Get a high explosive on standby. Maybe get a smoke on standby. I'm bringing an SMG with as well. Because, uh, we don't have many grenades. A dog, grenade, and send you a grenade. Handcuffs. What a what a what a good boy. <laughs> hey, wait three though. Nice. Um, get a couple grenades on. All right, just the one grenade. You're very weak. Okay, nobody with really much medical stuff to speak of, but we... Well, you've got enough strength for it. Our sniper. Bit odd. Alright. Well, we're not in the corner. Um, I see all of them. A lot of handguns and shotguns. That one's got a Sten, Snub Nose, Shotgun, Sten. Uh, I don't think we do this at all. Because keep in mind, they start with full time units, so they can all do reactions.
I'd have to, if anything... There should be smoke in it somewhere. I guess I didn't bring smoke grenades? I thought I brought smoke grenades. But if anything, though, we spike a smoke grenade and hope for the best, but, uh... I don't know. And you definitely don't have smoke loaded. hit anything. Uh, Alright. Let's get out of here. Where's my smoke in it? I bought some. Smoke grenade. I got it. I just never put them on the ship, I guess. I That's stupid as hell. Smoke grenades. Just all of them. God, really. I put one on the card too. Uh, they got a couple. All right. Blech. Strange life form. I guess we'll check it out. What well, resolution do I run the game? Nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Uh, but the scaling, Geoscape quarter display, Battlescape third. Works out pretty well for me. Like, generally, people can still see everything and it still looks quite nice. And I don't have any crazy filtering going in because that all looks garbage. Running raw. So, uh. I mean, we can still try with a grenade launcher because why not? Out of curiosity. Yeah, 50% penalty for one handing it. Ah, oh, fine. Uh, what's it loaded with? Frag? Frag. Okay. But we can at least... Would you stop putting stuff on? I at least get a smoke ready. In case we feel like actually doing this. Depending on what we've got. Chupacabra. Just the one so far that we can see. Nice. All right, well, that's one down. That's two down. Nice, well done. Easy peasy. Theoretical theory, plus two reactions. Solid. Successfully completed many missions starting after the fifth, plus one sanity. Rats to you. Yeah, bad care for the dog wouldn't be a bad idea. A little bit heavy, but, um... Could also go with the healing sprays. Have I tried Xenonauts? Yes, hated it. What a dead, lifeless game that is. Horrible scaling. Mods might fix it. I don't know. Never looked at mods. Never wanted to. Interested in Xenonauts 2? Chris has yet to send me a copy to take a look at, though. Armor gives extra carry or something? Yeah, it, it, it's weird. Like, it's... Um, like, the first couple of grenades that I put on weren't changing its weight at all. But I don't know if an entire med... Because the medkits are pretty heavy. Cult Arms Dealers. Infiltrated cult is deep enough to get a little cheeky. Woo! Each cult has to be supplied with stuff they can't get from a local store, outside the US that is, and locating these suppliers shouldn't be too hard if you know where to look. This can lead us to some interesting stuff that is not on our official list of supplies. Like the QBU-88 and our Osaka 3000, whatever those are. Uh, acquisition? Ah. Uh, Position. The 
Does the Uzi acquisition lead to something fancy or just... No, just the standard basic Uzi. Right. And those are really easy ones to do. Okay. Healing spray around the dog's neck like one of those alpine rescue St. Bernard's. That's kind of what I imagine. Yeah, the dog just runs over to you because it's got a lot of time units. Dog just runs over to you and you just like take the stuff off of it because you can self-use it. The healing sprays, that is. United Aerotech Corporation is a manufacturer of cutting-edge aircraft and aerial equipment. Also usually loosely connected to black ops industries via several major investors, making them a natural candidate for our supplier. The Dragonfly. Why not, right? And the Arasaka 3000, it's some sort of rifle type thing with a power bonus multiplied off of reactions. Precision rifle modification of the W2000 Walther. Produced by a small Japanese manufacturing company, especially effective in trained hands. Alright, 30 damage, 140 accuracy, 70 timing for the aim shot. Damn. That's an accurate thing and scales off of reactions instead of actual firing accuracy. Which is a little bit strange, the snapshot's pretty good though. Because this gets us power off of firing accuracy. The accuracy is also modified by firing accuracy and bravery. Except this guy, that's just firing accuracy. So, I mean if you have a soldier with a lot of reactions, I, I guess. It's a bit of an odd one though. QBU is also a sniper. Okay. Uh, everybody's still happy. 617 rating. We've got an okay balance. And Dark Marth is a senior. <laughs> forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Don't worry about it. The QBU 88. Uh, we don't know. Okay. On to the Dragonfly. Q, B, U, 88. It has nothing fancy with it. 29 damage instead of 30. Accurate aim shot, a lot of time units. Ah, oh, it's just like another... eh, thing. Very, very minor differences. I don't think that needs to exist at all. Very nice parties when you're promoted, yes. Yes, indeed. Machine guns license. A little piece of paper says that the council has authorized us to employ military grade machine guns during field operations. Made sure that the agreement doesn't specifically forbid us from using any specific caliber. Mmm. So Black Ops Light Minigun, Black Ops Minigun, the HMG acquisition, and the UAC Craft Cannon acquisition. Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you what I want. Light minigun, really easy to do. Standard minigun, really easy to do. The HMG, really easy to do. So we'll just get like one on each of these. Then I guess the craft cannon, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Heavy machine gun. 55 kinetic damage, a 10 shot auto fire, 50% accuracy, 90% timing to cost though, like holy fuck holy. Lays down a devastating hail of gunfire, making it an excellent heavy support weapon, however it is far too heavy for an average human soldier to use. It weighs 44. Damn. Yeah, it's a little bit heavy. Also the light minigun, 25 kinetic, 16% accuracy, 36% time units, 12 shots with the auto fire, combines portability with long powerful bursts of fire making it highly versatile. Due to the number of bullets fired per second it deals extra damage to armor. Well, auto shot range also only 14 with accuracy drop off per toil. Wow, so this just vomits bullets. Uh, only 18 weight though. Maybe.
And the proper minigun, 35 kinetic damage. Look at that magazine thing, though. Jesus Christ, that's like a backpack stored thing. Heavy support weapon fires deadly hills of bullets, most effective in area clearing and suppressing the enemy. Also good for stripping away heavy armor with its sheer volume of fire. Due to its inherent weight, high strength is required to use it to its full potential. When possible, should be fired from a kneeling position. 45% timing to cost, 12% accuracy, 15 shots though. Right, yeah, kneel bonus multiplier, 200%. Same with the light minigun. Should be noted. Kneel bonus multiplier. Twice as accurate for both of them. All right. Get you on the dragonfly. So how expensive are these? No, not not terribly expensive. I'll I'll pick some up. I'll play with that a little. Oh yeah, and we have money again, so I can actually buy a few agents. Also get you a dog. Wait, no, I want I want a workshop though. And we don't need that corridor anymore. So there's our money. Hey. And citizens versus monsters. Oh, that sounds fun. 300 despawn penalty. Intense activity of strange life forms has prompted the local populace to take matters into their own hands and eliminate the threat before every brave citizen is killed. Rogue saying, nope, nope, nope. Build sub pens? Yes and no. They're they're expensive, the vehicle's expensive, and currently there's not so many missions that I have to have like everything out there at once. Points will be worse if I show up, really. So bad. Just let it despawn, let them handle it. So what's it what is it gonna be? Is it just like a strange life form but with a bunch of civilians around and like like 20 strange life forms? What about if I get the minigun out there? Huh. Well, I'm not gonna do it, but I am very curious. Okay, never mind. We don't get to find out. It does not last for long. They are already devoured. The minigun and stuff is here, though. The light minigun and ammo, and standard minigun and uh, ammo. And the the armor was a thing, wasn't it? No, yeah, we're we're kind of okay with the armored vests. Civvies one? Well, yeah, definitely. They handled it. We got there. There's nothing left to kill. Strange life forms still exist down there, though. But um, that one we can maybe do. This is like literally the same area almost. <laughs> Not yet. Just wait. And now going. Uh, but yeah, I can carry like a couple small things on the dog. Yeah, med, med kit's too heavy. The medical bag though is okay. So at least there's that. We can we can go for that. I don't seem to have any healing spray anymore, but that's all right. Um, high strength people, forty four. On theoretical theory, you're also like really reactive and stuff though. So next best would be Samurai. Oof. <laughs> I'd have to go with a light minigun, which is fine, fair enough. That's okay. 
Yeah, no, the, the med pack on the dog doesn't really do anything for me right now. It, it's not like it can use it. But it feels useful. Is there anything else I wanted to try out? I don't think so. We haven't really tried the SMG yet. We can bring the SMG along. Maybe give that a quick, uh, quick trial. Bats! Holy shit! Um. <laughs> okay. Nice. Not at all what I expected. Um, do you see anything? Look at this guy. Much more normal bullet speed. So do you have a kneeling modifier also? No, you don't either. Okay. It's looking like not a whole lot has the kneeling modifier on it, so that's good. I haven't, like, missed out or anything like that. Uh, and Saint... with your SMG... Just all over the place. Six months have flown by. Hey, Vegeta, how you doing? Six months have flown by indeed, very, very quickly. Um... Man, thank you very much. Grats on the promotion. How you doing, Vegeta? Oh, you wouldn't use an SMG from 40 tiles out? Are you kidding me? What's so wrong with that? Yeah, no kneeling bonus for that either. Okay. But, I will kneel anyway. Never mind, you can't see it. <sighs> can't see it regardless. Okay, fine. I'm doing pretty good, yeah, not bad. Got my ass absolutely handed to me on a mission a little bit ago, but uh, other than that, doing all right. And this minigun is a pretty wild fun time, eh? Did we get anywhere close? I have no idea. There's still 102 rounds to fire off in that thing, though, so, uh... May as well keep at it when we can. While we can. Okay, you know what? Just auto-shot? Just shoot through. Just get rid of the bushes. We don't need them. In proof for Alga, I don't know, man. You feel like biting some bats? If they come for you, just bark at them a lot. That's what you're for. You stop them dead in their tracks. At least these die. I like when things die when I shoot them. for Alga first at bat. Oof. Oh, you got the dog for jungle zombies? Yeah. Get like a couple dogs in there and just like stand behind them and let them do their uh, their time unit reducing barks and all that. Absolutely. God. Zombies have morale? No, it reduces time units, uh, the bark. But zombies, they, 
They might have morale, I don't know. Or technically, they'd have to. It was, it was very impressive how he killed the, the first couple in the very first shot. <laughs> that was that was really nice. Minigun's gonna make mincemeat of grouped cultists. Uh if we hit anything. I feel a little bit like it's gonna be a couple galaxies colliding, like just nothing everything is so far away, we hit nothing. I'll never get used to it. It's so insane. Nice. Well done. I think we have to move up a little bit. I think they're, uh, I don't think they're aggroed. 24 hour stream? Oh, never. Same length as usual. We'll be going for about 10 or 15 more minutes, though. It's a shadow bat, specifically. It throws heads at you. Watch out. Look out for those heads. Throw your gun at it. Ah. Twelve percent's not great, but I mean, come on, it's XCOM. You know how it is. You got dog throws dog heads, one in each paw, it's dual building dog heads. Go get him. I mean, the dog ate already, what, a shambler? Or no, one of the monkey things, wasn't it? Like one of those big gorilla things. You could probably take on a bat. Nice. This one also coming for us, or is that just on patrol? Might be coming for us. I'm ready for it. Come get some. I'd like to not shoot the minigun at the dog though, or like anywhere near the dog. Yeah, pretty nice mission for experience, really. All the um, reaction shot training that we're whoops, getting and everything. Really good. Come here. Bat vs. Dog, one on one. Let's do this. Can a dog turn into a zombie? That's a good question. Okay, ow! <sighs> no, no reaction barks. I guess you weren't facing the right way. You're supposed to just kill it. Like, just... just get it dead. Every single one missed. What's the actual melee hit chance against things, I wonder? Hey, doing Donk Fall. Welcome, welcome. Well, five fatal wounds on you. Um... Jesus Christ. Come here, dog. The dog almost got mauled to death by a bat. Might have a no melee hits thing like some swarm enemies in the TFTD mod? That's a thing?
Because even the ghost I've meleeed before. I can't think of what else a swarm any we would be. Whoops. Heal, heal, heal. Move to the side. Come on down. Uh, yeah, I can't quite heal you this turn, but only two fatal wounds. We'll get you pick, picked up next turn. Used to play UFO enemy out on the Amiga. Ooh. Classic. For me, it was Windows, Windows 98, 95? No, probably Windows 98. Originally, the TFTD demo CD from PC Gamer. It was a really awkward demo because your gear equipment was like super duper nonsensical. But for the longest time, I didn't even realize that this game existed. I always just thought it was Terror from the Deep. That's it. That's all. Not quite the case, though, it turns out. the demo like 20 times before you got the game if you recall correctly it's soft in the ruins yeah to soften the ruins and you had to do like dual building dart guns and i think like the best thing you had was a dude with maybe a gauss pistol or something like it was horribly stacked against you it was super duper not good there you got it thank you saint still more somewhere though But yeah, um, a lot of cool demos on that CD. There's also like Baldies and Raptor, Call of Shadows or whatever, and all sorts of honestly good games. Except Baldies. That wasn't good. That was bullshit. Baldies was a bullshit game. <laughs> Everything's going great and fine until suddenly there's some pit in front of your door and all your dudes just die or explode. Like, great. Fucking awesome. There were trees in the way. I told him just to force fire it. I figured we'd mow down a tree or 12. I guess not, though. UFO anime has a way more badass intro than TFTD. Oh, God, comically so. TFTD's intro is, like, really doomy and serious. The UFO defense one is, like... <laughs> just not. Hey, look, you're out there somewhere. You gotta come out. You gotta engage. We don't have that much ammo left. I don't want to reload. I don't want to waste more magazines than I have to. Where's the sniper rifle at? Ah, oh, there you are. Did you quit hiding in the corner? Nice. There's more, though. Saying, go get him. Grenade launchers just burn down the jungle. Do I have money for more grenades, though? That that's that's a question. We have six shots left with this minigun. Napalm strike over the jungle. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Just burn it down. Would anybody miss it? There's bats there. Huh. Hecky. I like to think this is the same strange bats thing that was attacking the uh, innocents on that mission that we ignored. I figured if it was over here somewhere, Rufraga would have seen it by now. Hello? Yeah, 
Can't see it anymore there. But he's over there. We got him at least. Heck, I'm assuming that's the last one. I don't even know. I don't even know. Got him. But wait, there's more. I guess we'll reload it. I don't hugely mind buying more ammo for it. Does game mod have actual aliens at some point? Yes, the alien invasion takes place, I think, January 31st, 1999, we discovered. Um, through one of the researches. But there was a UFO that I saw earlier that was just like landed. I, I came close to visiting it. Um, super horrible idea. But technically they're out there. There we go, finally. Man, 14 of them. Felt like a lot more than that. A noticeable performance. Noticeable. And yeah, generally like really nice training for everybody. Quite nice. A little more health and time units for the dog as well. 99% sure that's the date the calendar starts in UFO. 99? Yeah, I think so. Um, February, maybe? Could be. Keep a corpse just to uh, research. And we will buy some more minigun boxes, because I think that might be worth trying out some more. Uh, KPO is solid, Proofrog is patience, Samarin is an ice cold killer, Proofrog is also battle scarred, and theoretical theory is an overwatcher and sniper now. Very nice. So that's generally just like a little more time units, a little more reactions, and all that kind of stuff. It adds up. Ah, it's already on. Perfect. Wait. No, you're not. Two. Okay. Nobody can currently carry the heavy minigun yet, no. Unfortunately, strange life form again. Ugh. Take a look. I'll take a look. May or may not actually do it, though. I don't know. Uh, same loadout. The dog's not here. That's fine, though. Dog's in daycare. It's Zambies. Or a Zambie, maybe. Damn it. Got him. Put him to sleep. It was just one zombie in the middle of the desert. We land with our helicopter, the sniper takes around as we disembark. They just fucking unload with the minigun into it and knock it out. It's passed out sleeping. Jeez, this thing. That's on the two accuracy. Uh, I'll sell the zombie. That's fine, 20,000 bucks for us. I'll take it. Uh, Cavalier, because nobody got injured, and Samarin is solid. Nice. That's fucking easy. Maze didn't hit the civilian by accident. Was there a civilian? I didn't even notice. I totally wasn't paying attention to any civilian being there. Crop circles. Uh-oh. Crop circles can be scary. We don't have a North America embark anymore. So... Fuck it. It's only 50 points. I'm gonna leave it. We got enough fuel traces. Bright in the night. After a storm in Liberville, power was knocked out. Only one area was still lit up when it should not have been. After some investigation conducted by the council, the power source was discovered. It looks like some kind of laboratory which was hastily abandoned. A UFO power source, alien organ sample, and civilian corpses. Oh. Uh. Cool. That sounds like stuff I'd like to have to research. Mysterious. 
Oh, there they are. Alien Oregon Civilian Corps UFO Power Source. Oh. Um, what am I missing then? An STD lab. Power systems. And alien engineering. So stuff for the Nithurial Legate? Oh god. Um so yeah, it's gonna be a little while. Maybe the civilian corpses we can look at? The alien organ sample? That we can. Uh Corp. Corpse. What? Or Corpse. I can type. Okay, don't have their corpse either. You don't have an STD lab? Everybody should. What kind of organization would you be without? That's just nonsense. Black Lotus Shrine located. A shrine? The root of all evil. 10 despawn penalty. Deep in the jungle, there is a hidden shrine of Black Lotus dedicated to their goddess. According to the cult, it is the place where she fell from the stars. Area is uninhabited, but teeming with Black Lotus patrols. Alright. It sounds like something we'll eventually have to do, but... Um... I don't think we do now. Mission is shite, not worth. I wasn't going to. It's only 10 despawn penalty. Like... Until I get some better armor and stuff, like, I think I just generally pass on the new culty stuff. <laughs> it's all, it's all pretty dangerous to do. I don't really have time for another mission anyway. Hey, land surveys. Nice, I like land surveys. Do what? Just get, like, cool random stuff. More fucking crop circles. I don't care. Debriefing's done. Nine damaged zombie parasites, seven megascorbine corpses, and two spike boar corpses. Well, okay. And the dragonfly is done. Look at that. A vertical landing vessel can transport up to eight agents directly to the operation site. Can also be used to transport auxiliary units, such as drones. 5,600 range again, damage capacity 50, 8 cargo space, 1 heavy weapon platform capacity, and 1 pilot. Nice. And that's, I think, what this is generally kind of sort of about a little bit. And we can also see about looking at some of the algorithms so we can get some, like, robots. If we care, we can now rent the dragonfly. How expensive are you, though? 300,000. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Oof. Gravelfoot. Oh, sorry, Gravelfoot. What's the name of this mod? It seems really well made. This is XCOM Files. Sorry, I missed your message entirely. It's, um, be warned, though, the start of it is really, really slow. Like, five to ten hours of gameplay slow. But when it starts to open up, I understand that it's, like, really, really solid. There's a craft cannon ac uh, acquisition we can do. Let's pound out the trauma pack. See about some, like, maybe better medicines. Cannon. Cannon rounds. Do it. Cult activity. Big burly mans. Cult safe house. Well, we can maybe see about doing that. I'm curious about the cannon we just got. 10 damage, 10 kilometer range, 25% accuracy, 4 second reload time, 200 rounds. High powered cannon which fires armor piercing rounds capable of penetrating 16 inches of steel. Well. Alright. Um. I'd, I'd like to do the Colt safe house, but I don't have time for it right now. So that might be something that we start up for next time. 
Just a bunch of bare bones basic agents that I've got. Oh god. We will see. Although, since I've got like the cool SMG, maybe going with the uh, armored vest shield would be okay. Except for like the most accurate person. Because they'd obviously be a sniper. So, theoretical theory, have just the armored vest. The rest of you. Oh, two snipers? Yeah, two snipers. Why not? And then the shield for the other four. But we'll head out like that. We'll see how it goes. Um. Yeah, that'll be that'll be next week though. No stream Saturday. Sunday stream at 4 p.m. GMT. Yeah, 4 p.m. GMT. Continuing on with Doom Eternal. Maybe the Escapists too. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm canceling a lot of series lately, but uh, Doom Eternal really isn't grabbing me, so I don't know. Maybe we check out the Escapists too to see what that is on Sunday. But more of this on Wednesday at 8 a.m. GMT. Peace out. Peacemaker, thank you for the 250 bits. Much appreciated. Yeah, maybe Outer Wilds one day. I don't know. Maybe. I think I have to be in a mood for it, though. We'll see. Um... Yeah, I like this mod pack a lot. It's just, yeah, the start of it is like really holy shit. And some of the missions are just like, you're screwed. You're completely and utterly screwed. Like, there's no way. Like, you have to just know going into it what it's like. So it requires you to fail a few times, which could get really annoying if it's like that in the mid and late game as well. Because then you have to restart everything, basically. Well, not necessarily. I guess you could save and load, but man, save scumming? Ugh. Oh, who saves scums?